Computer tomography is used in many different applications, but in all of them the general workflow is roughly the same. The first phase is always the acquisition of the projection data. This data is then pre-processed and reconstructed. These reconstructions are then typically segmented before they can be analyzed. In the acquisition phase, an object, such as a femur bone, is placed inside the scanner and X-ray projections are acquired from many different directions. Afterwards, flat field and dark field corrections are applied to clean up the data and to linearize it. A reconstruction technique then uses this information of this pre-processed data to generate reconstructed images of the scanned object in which the value of each pixel represents the attenuation value at that specific location. Before these images can then be analyzed, however, it is often crucial to accurately figure out which pixels belong to exactly which material. This is called segmentation. And the results are reconstructed images that only contain a few different values, one for each material in the scanned object. And then finally, with the segmentation known, the data can be analyzed, which is of course very application dependent. For bone studies, for example, people can be interested in various bone parameters, such as the total volume or the trabecular thickness of the scanned bones.